T-Mac, I mentioned to Casey that you called him the glue mm -hmm. a couple weeks back, I think it was, and it really meant something to him. I mean, what about that, that group? It, you, you know, they, they go overlooked until something goes wrong, right. basically. So is that part of him essentially saying to me, wow, that, that was really nice of him to say? Yeah, I mean, it, his job is a thankless job. You know, it's, it's no, nobody ever mentions a long snapper until something wrong happens yeah. most of the time. Uh, so, you know, being in that position, doing that job and doing it as long as he's been doing it and for somebody to acknowledge it, you know, it's like anything else. Everybody wants to be acknowledged, right? Everybody wants to be encouraged. So when you when you give somebody that type of acknowledgement and you show your appreciation towards them and what they do in a thankless type of job, uh, you know, I understand it because I was one of them. You know, I was a long sniper before. So it's, it's one of those jobs nobody really talks about until something goes wrong. So is that top of mind for you with your whole special teams group, knowing we don't say much unless something goes wrong, someone misses a kick, doesn't make the kick, that kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, that's just, that's our job. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's what we signed up for. So we understand that. We know what it is. Uh, you know, as a coach, you know, you make decisions. I decided I wanted to coach special teams, so I know what comes along with that, right? I didn't decide to coach offense or defense, and they understand that too. You know, in the seventh grade, Graham Gano wanted to be a kicker, and he, cho he chose that path, right? So did Casey. So, uh, and Casey was a linebacker and a long snapper. So that, that we understand it. That's what it is, and that's the job. Four yeah. kicker, four kickers in a season is what? Fill in the blank. It's a lot, <laughs> but I told y'all, I told you this early in the season. I said, you don't want to get on the kicker train, you know, because des the destination is unknown because you don't know. Once the, once that train gets rolling, you never know where it's going to end. So, uh, but you know, it is what it is. We make the adjustments. We don't make any excuses. Just keep it moving. I talked about Cade. He's Cade's good. Like he's fine. I mean, you know, we'll, he's going to be an option for us. So we'll find out what we're going to do on Sunday, but he's what doing, else? he's doing well. Oh, like Jamie potentially could. is there somewhere yeah. someone else? Yeah, Jamie building? could kick. He could. So we'll see. Where do you you talked about Cade uh, like technique stuff mm -hmm. that you guys were working on when he first came? Where does he stand on that? He's getting better. You know, he's working at it. Uh, and and you know, young specialists are always a work in progress. You know, so those guys are always trying to find a routine, trying to tweak certain things and, you know, just work on little small details of what, he, what he's doing. You know, being around Randy and, and Graham has been huge for him. You know, it's, it's, it's almost unheard of. You know, even during the off season, this rarely happens. You know, so, but he's, he's been taking advantage of it. And I told him, you know, this is, this is a godsend for you. You know, to be able to be around two veteran kickers that have had double digit years that have both started over 150 games you know, playing 150 games in the same building as you at the same time is, you know, it's big for him. You, you, guys probably, you guys probably practice 100 things a year that you never actually use. Mm -hmm. So what kind of point of pride is it for a coach when it goes well, when Gunner's the holder and Gillen's <laughs> kicking the field goal? Well, I mean, it's it's something that we do practice. Uh, you know, we it's not practiced a lot, but, you know, it's like anything else every so often it comes up, you know, so, and we were ready for it. And, and, you know, Jamie did all three in college, so it's not a big deal. And then Gunner was a holder in college for three years. So, I mean, his whole time in, in college, so it's not a big deal. And he's a great athlete, so, you know, so the hand-eye coordination is there with him. And, and Jamie's a, you know, he's one of the best ball strikers I've ever coached, so. You feel comfortable with him outdoors and just kind of environment yeah. kicking long field goals? Yeah. yeah. I, if you I, need to? I've seen Jamie drop kick a 60-yard field goal, right? <laughs> yeah, out of that. his hand. Yeah, I've seen him do it, you know, so I, I have no issue with Jamie kicking anything long. Yeah, that's probably the best thing he can do is kick a long field goal. So uh, Jamie's very, very talented. Did Jamie get dinged on that block kick? On no, the, the no, running? No, no, no that, that was not it. That, that had nothing to do with uh, uh, block kick. I mean, you know, when they ran into him. Yo, no, no, no. He, I mean, he hit him, but that that's not when he hurt, he hurt himself. Bringing someone a kicker from outside still be on the table because you said options. So I'm just curious, like what's on the table? We'll see. Did you get a kicker? From, you know, I know you lost the game, but you know, Jamie kicking a field goal in an NFL game is, mm -hmm. you know, I know he got a kick out of it. Did you get a kick out of it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's that's significant. You know, it's you know we're trying to go check track down the ball that he, that he had, but uh, uh, it was it was big for him uh, just to be able to uh, kick a field goal 
being a punter in this league and make it, you know, in that environment, it's pretty cool. T Mac, how much did Gunner coming in solve an issue? It definitely helped. It definitely helped. Uh, you know, he, he gives you a, uh, a guy back there with experience uh, that's been in different situations. You know, he's played in New England, he's played in you know, Pittsburgh in difficult environments and wind and conditions. And, you know, when you get into January, December, you know, that's those are the types of guys you want back there that's been in those situations. And he played at Bemidji State, so. There you go. <laughs>